here might say shit to you. He knows who the fuck I'm talking to. He knows what the fuck I'm here for. Okay, go ahead. Okay. All right. Good evening, everybody. You know what time it is. Y'all want to set it up? You got the right okay, motherfucker. Okay, excuse me. You got the right one. You got it. You know what time it is. Y'all want to set it up? You got the right okay, motherfucker. excuse me. You got the right one. You got it. Tell me where you are viewing from. Put in the chat. When we're, we're talking about cities and small towns and villages, most people know just about everybody. You know, it's hard to go somewhere where you may know of that person or a person, family, friend, or family knows of that person. It's hard to get away from that. So you have Tiffany Henyard, um, you're the mayor of Dalton Village, she has implanted her mark throughout the village. And it's nothing wrong with Tiffany giving people jobs, but this is a little odd that what the things that she's been doing. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, I don't know if you guys remember the video that I shared with you. Um, when she got elected for um, or nominated, appointed for the city uh, township supervisor. I don't know if you guys remember that particular video. You're making a mockery out of this for real. Put your hands together for your new township supervisor, Tiffany Henry. Wow. <laughs> this is Duncar, Duncor. Parker, her her crony. This is her crony. Tiffany Henyard decided to lock the township board board of trustees out. Maybe because they was questioning her too much about her spending, so she decided to get back at them. And this fool thought it was okay for him to uh, do a drive by. They had to hold the township meeting outside because they were locked out the township. It's gonna become the same thing even worse times 10. I'm glad we're here. I'm glad we come together. I'm glad the Kirk clerk's here. And we're gonna work together to improve this town. And we're gonna, if, if, you know, a lot of times I think people have been frustrated with us and say, what's taking out so long? Get your attorney, take her power, do this. And people told us before we got sworn in, before they got sworn in, they do it. And what we all said, I'm gonna give her a chance. We want to try to get her because I think she deserved a chance. But now we don't. Stop that rising shit. Somebody want to hear that motherfucker give her a chance, shit. We're going to move forward. But that's Anybody where we're at. You know? That's where we're at. And we're going to continue to grow and move is. this town forward. And, and by the grace of God, we're going to keep yes, together. Yes, ma'am. Well, don't let them pull you up for that bullshit. Right. Thank you. Don't okay. talk that bullshit. Hey, Anybody saying shit to you, he knows who the fuck I'm talking to. He knows what the fuck I'm here for. Okay, go ahead. All right. Good evening, everybody. You know what time it is. Y'all want to set it up? You got the right one. Okay, excuse me. You got the right one. You got it. They having a township meeting outside. This is the same guy who showed up when she were was appointed. And he's coming knowingly. He knows that they got locked out. They got locked out the meeting because Tiffany Hilliard locked them out. So they got to hold the meeting outside. So Tiffany probably got on her phone and said, drive by to see what they doing. Number one, you should have been there anyway. So, but you sent your, your crony, you sent your crony there. Your crony act like he was going to beat somebody up. You heard set with the board member saying, Hey, we're, we're trying to give her a chance. She deserves a chance. It's, it's really ridiculous, but he's, you know, he's there to threaten people while they standing outside and they got a whole bunch of er elderly people there. Let's look what else he talking about, because I think, I really think this is a little bit on the uh, crazy side. You going to show up at a meeting. We already locked out. So we already looking crazy. And you showing up at a, at a meeting talking about, you know, what time it is. If you want to get it done, you could get it done. <laughs> like, what is this? You got it. You need to call nine. You got the right person. Better call G. If you want, I'll just ignore that for a moment until I think. I have to cover up my. Yeah, no, you're trying to push Riley's agenda. Yeah, 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 you're trying to push Riley's
It's over with around here, Bill. Oh, yeah. Ain't shit else happening around here for Riley. It's over with. He fucked up the water bill and all the rest of this money. So now going to try to defend I've had my home race. for seven Fuck months. I'm, I just moved to Dalton. I was actually excited. Um, as of now, seeing the person that's the head, head, that's the head of Dalton, it's a shame. Um, my question it. was in regards to infrastructure. What is being done about that? You couldn't drive through it. My parents were actually at my house helping set my house up for me. I was at work. I just had to check my cameras and was like, oh, it's a real. Nobody um, I made a phone call like to that. a couple of trustees. They did come out. Wrong. They did catch the water was. It was extremely bad. I had to do a video. And I just wanted to know what's going on with the infrastructure. Rate. The cameras are nice. The new lights, the, the street, street lights the are nice. However, we have deeper issues, especially when it comes to the for eight years. Because that can damage homes and people can't get to their houses. Or you have, so my question. Can, can anybody believe this? Like they're at a meeting. Okay, I could see you being like, okay, passionate about something. But what is your purpose? <laughs> First, you talking about you know what a time, time it is. And then now you saying it's disrespectful to the residents. No, your mayor disrespected them. She locked them out. Who does that? And now you're over talking this resident saying is disrespectful to the resident, but you being disrespectful to this lady and she trying to ask questions like what is going on here? What's being done for infrastructure? We'll um, address that offline. But what what is the guy doing besides holding the meat and he's interrupting him because he don't like your girl, your home girl? Is that the problem? And then you're getting mad at um, this one particular guy. I don't know who he's directing it to. Maybe the guy that's sitting it sitting down. But like, really, dude, it it doesn't make any sense. This is like really on the ridiculous side. So the old old lady, the elder. She she gets with them. Well, you acting like it. We should Brothers don't act like that. Right. How you here to judge somebody? And also, apparently, he was the football coach for Thor Thornton High School. He, he got fired. He got the boot. So now he's just working for um, Tiffany. Doing what? I, I'm not for sure. Pimp, you got to know it. Shame on you. It's showtime around here. You embarrassing to the community. You know what it is? No. Shame on you. Now, you don't want the other side of me to come out. Ma'am, I would never disrespect you. I'm not talking to you. And I don't oh, appreciate my... it. Okay, but I'm not going to have somebody like you talking to you. me. You know your profanity and everything? That means you have a lack of uh, respect. Respect. Hey, 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 guys. This is set up. That's all. Let it be. Don Cor Parker is an employee with Thornton Township. Residents of Dalton have had enough. Okay. So he he's an employee. Um, I know he used to be the football coach. I don't know if he's coaching still, but there you have it. He ended up 
ruining the meat. So and and there that's that happened during the summer. So this this is what your girl is doing. She's sending all her cronies out to keep if they if the village trustees are not keeping in line, she's gonna try to get them in line. She's either trying to move them out or use intimidation on them. And it seemed like those guys they weren't they weren't going for it. It seemed like they wasn't intimidated by him being there. And oh boy, um, I forget what the guy's name is. It looked like he was an advocate for Tiffany when she first was elected. And I think that slowly changed because of her behavior.